Nossa. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, it's great to see so many people out here on Nathan Phillips Square. Did everyone enjoy their uh, their bike ride this morning? Oh, yeah. Great. Um, there are a number of counselors here today. Some with cycling helmets, some without. Some with, oh, some with cowbells. Um, I'd like to uh, recognize them because they're all here to show their support for Cycling and Bike Month. So, uh, Councillor Fragadakis is here. <laughs> Councillor Bailao is here. <laughs> Councillor Wong Tam is here. <laughs> Councillor Davis is here. <laughs> Councillor Carroll is here. <laughs> Councillor Vaughn is here. <laughs> and Councillor Layton is here. <laughs> oh, and Oh, Council and and uh, also uh, Councillor Lay Layton's mom's here. Oh no, stepmom, right? Olivia Chow. Stepmother's here. She's here. MP and Councillor Fletcher's here. And Councillor Mahevic is here. Okay. So, thanks, Councillor Fletcher, for that. Um, it's uh, it's my pleasure to be here today to be part of. Oh, Mary Margaret McMahon is here from uh, Beaches, Beaches, from the Beaches. So uh, it's my pleasure to be here today to be part of this great tradition. People riding their bikes to Toronto City Hall to kick off Bike Month for 2011. All of you are part of a growing trend. More and more people are using their bikes to travel, to work, 
and to school. At the city, it's our goal to see the number of bike trips into the downtown court continue to increase. This is the premise behind the Mayor's Bike Plan and the Downtown Separated Network I have proposed. Just look at the booth here. Which is coming to uh, Works Committee in June, so I hope we can all see you there supporting uh, expanding the bike network. And of course we've added Bixie Toronto to our biking network. Bixie provides a system where people will have a new convenient option for getting around quickly and efficiently. Cycling is an important part of our transportation network. More bike travel means a reduction in vehicles and that helps to reduce congestion on our roads. But cycling is more than just a way to get around. Cycling is a positive physical activity that leads to a healthy lifestyle. And more bikes means less pollution. I'd like to th take this opportunity to thank the sponsors for Bike Month, the Toronto Parking Authority, Big C, St. Lawrence Market, Alternative Grounds, Pedal Magazine, and a very special thank you to our media sponsor, our TV sponsor, CP24, and our print sponsor, Now Magazine. So let's give them all a round of applause, and uh, let's give each other a round of applause for making this day what it is. So the final thing I'd like to do is, is uh, Mayor Rob Ford, has proclaimed this bike month, and I'm going to read the proclamation. Whereas Toronto is committed to promoting cycling in general and recognizing that there is specific need to encourage more bicycle commuting, in 1988 Toronto launched Bike to Work Day to encourage commuters to get out of their cars and onto bikes to minimize gridlock and air pollution. This year, more than 80 community partners and businesses will support Toronto cyclists as part of Bike Month 2011. Bike Month 2011 offers five weeks of citywide events and programming to promote cyclists. Now therefore, I, Mayor Rob Ford, on behalf of Toronto City Council, do hereby proclaim May 30th to June 30th as Bike Month in the City of Toronto and encourage everyone to get outside and ride. So congratulations everyone, enjoy the day, there's pancakes over there, and once again, thanks so much for coming out. All right. Councillor Denzelman Wong, once again, thank you so much.